Good morning, family. This is Miss Norma coming to you from what is becoming almost one of my usual places, um, my car. How is everyone today? Um, this is our reading for Thursday, October the 13th. It's titled, God Breathes from the Guago Tree. It says, our scripture lesson is John 20, 22, and it reads, and when he had said this, he breathed on them and saith unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's John 20, 22. Let us pray. Father, thank you, Lord, for the time of this reading, for being able, Lord, to check in with one another and to check, uh, just stay abreast of what's going on, Lord. We know um, the things that are happening around the world in our country and other countries, Lord. But Father, right now we're lifting up our homes right here locally, our schools, our organizations, Lord. Um, we're lifting them up, Lord, right now before you and our young people in our schools, our young people out in the streets, Lord. Oh, Father, be merciful, Lord, and teach us, Lord, to pray, pray, to pray without ceasing, Lord. We cannot cover ourselves and our children enough. Thank you, Lord, for this prayer. Thank you, Lord, for bringing people through surgeries. Thank you, Lord, for the restorations of homes, of marriages, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father, for healing in our land. Despite what's happening around us, Lord, you still have the ability to heal us. Help us, Lord, to subject ourselves to you and to trust you with the healing on the inside. Right, Miss Ali? Amen. Okay. Good morning, family. Our reading once more is I God Breathes from the Guango tree. I think that's what it is, Goango. I suffered from a vein-related ailment for many months. The doctors advised that healing was probable, but perhaps not for a long time because vascular issues take a while to heal. They can cause great pain and suffering. I spent many days at home away from my usual active lifestyle. Having to slow down and wait for the healing provided me with an opportunity not only for physical healing, but also for healing of the mind and the spirit. I reflected on God's goodness and grace, but also prayed daily for complete healing. One day during this time, a friend took me on an outing so that I could experience a change of scenery and be refreshed. We went to an old town close to the sea where we leisurely moved about viewing and enjoying the artifacts and remnants of this beloved historic town. After a while, I felt tired and was grateful for the seats that were provided in a large area beneath a giant guango tree. Its branches spread far and wide, ever ready to provide shelter to those who would find rest in the shade of its, of its expansive canopy. As I sat resting, a refreshing breeze, such as I had never felt before, wafted through the branches of the tree swirling about as if coming to rest upon me. It was special. I felt renewed and reassured. Of all the experiences I had had that day, this was the most memorable. Amen. As we departed, I was at peace in my heart that God had breathed from that towering Gawango tree and touch me. Amen. It does not matter what we go through, be it fire, storm, or flood. God always finds a way to touch his children, bringing comfort and peace. 
Jesus and his disciples had just gone through a season of suffering and uncertainty. After the crucifixion, Christ's followers were assembled behind shut doors for fear of the Jews. That's John 20, verse 19. He knew they needed reassurance and comfort. So he appeared to them and strengthened them. God may not stop our fire, storm, or flood, yet he has promised to be with us through it all, bringing comfort, healing, and peace. Join with me today in longing for, waiting for, and being renewed by his touch. Amen. The scripture says, and when he had said this, he breathed on them and saith unto them, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Amen. John 20, 22. So Father, our prayer today is breathe on us. Breathe on me. Breathe on you. Lord, breathe on us, Father, and refresh us and renew us despite our circumstances. So, Lord, because when you breathe upon us, we get that strength. Abba, Father, thank you, Jesus, on the inside that just carries us through. And remember, eagle's wings, cup those wings, family, and fly above the storm. Let the wind push you up past the storm so you can look down at it and get God's perspective. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, this morning. Amen, amen, and amen again. Breathe on us, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, family, for joining me for this time this morning. Blessing and healing to all our land. And breathe on me. Yes, Breathe on me. Say it, family. Breathe on me, Abba Father. That's our song today. Breathe on me, breath of God. Be blessed, family, this morning. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, by his grace, I'll see you later on. This is our reading for October the 13th. Um, and the reading for October the 14th is to follow. So even though it's the 13th, I'm going to say happy Friday to everyone. Have a blessed day. This is Miss Norma getting ready to sign off. Remember, I love you, but the Lord loves you. Bless and family, let's ask for God to breathe on us today. Put your hands up, stretch your arms out whatever, but I ask the Holy Spirit to breathe on you today, family. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Breathe on me, um, breath of God. That's our song. That's a, a gospel hymnal um, from way, way back in the day. Some of us will probably, re probably remember it, but it's titled, Breathe On Me, Breath of God find it on YouTube music, find it on Apple music or whatever music venue you listen to. I'm going to locate it and I'm going to add it to our song list today myself. Breathe on me, breath of God. Hallelujah. Family, I will see you later. This is Miss Norma. I love you.